Well, as more John Frusciante interviews release with all of the Unlimited Love promotion, there is bound to be some cool bits of information that comes out regarding his gear and use of effects. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Veronica and more specifically that modulated effect that John gets on his guitar throughout that entire song. <laughs> Now this information came out as a result of the interview John Frusciante did with Guitar World and honestly it's another brilliant interview. If you guys liked the videos I did on some of the bits that we learned from the Total Guitar interview, which one of them will be carded up above for you guys to go watch if you haven't seen that one already I did, this interview is another great one and I highly suggest you guys go check it out so it will be linked in the description below for you guys to go and look at. It's another awesome one that you guys should really add to your collection. So as John is discussing Veronica, he moves on to that modulated sound that he has on the record, and he describes it as the wow, 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 wow effect. So it's just kind of going the, uh, on the record, and he says that a lot of people are going to think that it's a guitar pedal or effect, but it actually is one of his modular synthesizers that he used to create that sound. And this honestly is not that surprising. If you guys remember John discussing the recording of Stadium Arcadium, there are a ton of these modular synthesizers throughout that entire album. And I bet it's gonna be the same story with a lot of these songs on Unlimited Love. Uh, it's, it's playing this guitar part here. <laughs> is being treated by the modular synthesizer uh, with an LFO controlling a, a, a high pass filter. So it's just kind of going low. And of course, in a live context, John relied on those Mog Mogerfoger pedals to recreate a lot of those sounds that he got in the studio and on the album. And I do believe it's going to be the same story with Unlimited Love. That Moog low pass filter is on his pedal board on his massive one. Again, I'll card up the video that I did on that huge board. And I think that pedal serves a dual purpose. The sound in a Veronica, that effect, is not worlds away from the effect John gets with the low pass filter for Danny California. So I think that pedal could be serving a dual purpose now, and John could use it for both Danny California and Veronica. That's my theory, at least, and until we get a better look at John stepping on the pedals for Danny California and Veronica, I think it's a pretty good shout. Again, I just think it's really awesome that we get to hear right from John some details about how he created these sounds on Unlimited Love, and this interview does a really great job of highlighting that and providing just some killer bits of information. So if you guys liked this video, number one, again, go check out that Guitar World interview. It's really honestly great, you guys. And also let me know by leaving a comment down below and smashing that like button. There are a few other details like this in regards to different songs that I could go over but I'm not really gonna know if that's what you guys are gonna wanna hear and see unless you let me know. So let me know, and as always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.